Hello viewers at home. This is Mathematics with Dr. OJ. In this video, we shall continue from where we stopped in our previous video on some questions on set theory. So we shall look at example two. Don't forget, click the subscribe button below the video and the digital bell so that each time I upload this video, you'll be daily notified. Thank you. Now, we want to look at example two here. Example two. In a certain government office, there are 500 employees. Let that be our universal set. 500. That is the total number of employees in that organization. Now, 150 men. So let's say, let N of M, you know, represent or be set of men or set of men. So in that case, if set of men is 150, then we have uh, N of M is equal to 150 from that uh, statement. Now, 276 university graduates. So let's use um, another thing to represent university graduates. We can use G or U there. So let's say, uh, let's N of U. U, okay, we can't use U again because we have used U as our Ivana set. G, B, set of university graduates. University graduates. Okay, that is, that is N of G. N of G now could be equal to N of G now will be equal to, according to the question, 276. Okay. Now, 212 married persons. Okay. Let N of P be set of married persons. Those that are married. So that, that is, let's say that um, N of P be, according to this given question, 212. Okay, now, now the next information is 94 male university graduates. So that is an intersection between men and uh, graduates. So N of, we use M for men, set of men, male university graduate that intersection graduate G. We are told these are 94. Okay, that's 94. Then 151 married uh, university graduates. 151 married university graduates. Okay, so that's end of marriage. We use uh, D, intersection, university graduate G. That is going to be what? 151. Okay, I hope you are following. All right. Now, and 119 married men. 119 married men. So, N of, we use a uh, married for, we use P to represent uh, married, that's P intersection, then we use M for men, M, that is 119. Okay, we have represented the information using the set uh, uh, notation in terms of number of elements in each uh, set, okay, in this subset. Now, we are told that 72 married male university graduates, so an N of marriage, we use a P, male, uh, intersection M, and uh, university graduate, intersection G. That is, we have 72. Okay. Now, the question now says, we should find uh, the number of single. The opposite of married is single, so let's say that... Uh, that is that word. Married is P, that's P complements single female. The opposite of male is uh, female. And uh, male M represents the set of male as uh, intersection male prime, the intersection not graduate, that's the opposite of graduate, G prime. We are asked to find that. that. Let's, uh, let that be uh, X. Let's use X. It's okay? Now, how do we find this? You know, this question involves uh, 
three subsets. It involves three subsets. So we can use our formula from from you know the union of the whole set n of p union which is universal set i can say from the entire universal set here p union you know m union g is equal to number of p plus number of m plus number of g minus number of p intersection m minus number of p intersection g minus number of uh, m intersection g then plus number of intersection of p intersection m intersection g so now by the time we get that then it will be easier for us to get this because this equivalently mean number of uh, p union m union g complements okay now what is number of uh, p union m union g let's look at that number of p according to the equation is 12 to 12 plus number of m uh m what we used to represent our m uh 150 150 plus a number of g 276 276 then minus number of p intersection m 119 minus 119 then minus uh, number of p intersection g 151 then minus uh, number of uh, m intersection g 94 then plus now the intersection of all the subsets 72 so let's quickly solve that let's quickly solve that 212 okay let's clean this up let's clean this up let's clean this up let's clean this up okay 212 plus um, um 150 that is what 370 362 362 362 uh, uh, 1262 362 plus 276 8 15, uh, 13 okay that's 5 538 no 638 sorry it's 638 okay now minus 119 minus 119 minus uh minus 119 minus 150 that's uh 270 minus 270 minus 270 minus 94 that's 4 minus 364 okay so minus 364 that's a 4 you know 7 and a, a 2 so that's 274 plus 72 16 346 so we have uh, 346 i think that is correct that's correct 2 3 6 2 yes but yes 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 it's just 13 that's correct and um, this is so okay uh, yes okay now we do have our n of p union m union g according to that calculation is equals to 346 and since since the number of universal sets is equal to is equal to is equal to number of uh, P union M union G plus X that is plus X we have we have and what are we looking for we are looking for X okay we have uh, and our number of numerical set is going to what so from here we can see N of U minus N of P union M union G is equal to X so an N of U is what 500 minus uh, 3 46 is equals to hex okay so by the time we subtract that from that i think we're going to have a 154 so x is equal to 154 so the number of a uh, single uh, female non-graduates is equals to 154 i hope you understood how 
that the calculation was uh, carried out. So please click the subscribe button and uh, the notification bell so that each time I upload the video, you'll be duly informed. Thanks and God bless you.